Hello everybody, my name is Fernando, and welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Today we're going to be continuing the campaign Let's Play on level 2 entitled New World. And I just need to make a quick pit stop in the uh, barracks so that I can choose a loadout. Standard stuff since I'm going to be replaying the mission instead of doing it uh, blindly or without restarting the story. So, we to do that. Should be real quick. And then we'll jump right into the cutscene. So I'll be quiet whenever cutscenes are playing or whenever main characters are talking, unless I have something interesting to say, which I don't for right now. Where am I? It's okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. You're smart enough. Achieved our objectives. The man's always gonna be better than the machine. Unfortunately, you sustain life-threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? All right. So, if you guys watched the last episode, you'll know we just almost died really but uh Down we got rescued and now Bye. we're in a <laughs> hey. simulation of sorts you guys will see that still with us welcome back taylor yeah do you know what's happening to you <laughs> no no i don't am i dreaming well let's say you are why not just go with it Right? After all, you can always wake up. And if I don't wake up? What are you going to do about December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. I want to stay Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself. Uh-huh in order to interface with any other system in the world. Right. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. Oh, At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. Oh, whoa. Oh, now you stand up. Now you stand up. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program right several oh, years. Right. It looks so You're here to stop it. Looks painted, and that, you know, this isn't real. Granted, it's it 2015, can't be. but what is happening to me? Right now, right now, that you're hurts. in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Turning me into the terminal. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you've got a long way to go. Wait, so if this is a simulation inside... And I'm making part of this up, right? Meaning I should just be able to get rid of it. You know, just by thinking about it. But at least I've got... RPG! 11.30 a.m. December 11th, 2054. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down. And they took it hard. Outcome, train go boom. So we're here to pull their pants back up. You remember now. Diaz? No. I think so. It's gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. Whoa, dude. He didn't hear shit. If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Right. OK. 
Okay. Weapons hot. Mark the floor with these assholes. Flanking right. There's never just one route. High, low, left, right. Different paths yield different advantages. Your DNI can provide combat critical. Hope you better read the battle. Switch it to tactical mode. Right. Use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter says you can do it. Attack mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red. Move.
So two melees from these guys definitely bring you down. Even though I'm a pretty robot. Attack mode info is synced across the team. If one of us sees something, we all see it. Even through cover. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Right. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. Right. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Now you'll see I can't. That was the one ability I didn't get. Why have to physically follow Again, crack them up, and we're, we're back. We got a spawning back. I've gone through this the first time several times. Yo, you wanna see something cool? Shoot down those bats. <laughs> One guy down there every single time. I keep shooting him and I'll shoot him.
Here she is. Load that generator. <laughs> we can get inside. Oh, he's dead. Interface with the central console. Pull any data you can. So is this game. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just take a second. Take a deep breath in. Tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. No. D&I can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Then why aren't you doing it? You make me do all the legwork. Got it. Is. They had a man on the inside at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. Uh -huh. The botched assault man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. Took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Yeah. Go take him out. Except this is <laughs> my least and also my favorite one. So. This one. But somehow, I didn't think about that. We're jumping out of windows. Tipped oh, off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome! Train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? Nope. She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, here. do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to yeah, read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning, appreciating. And that takes time. 
Time is something we don't always have. Uh huh. Okay, new blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Right. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. My imagination sucks. I'm sending his location to your HUD. Come on now, pick up the trail. Check your fire, civilians are not targets. Heads up, hostile, second floor. I still have line of sight. This is the only warning. Our boy's hacking the ZSF talents. What does that tell you? He's running scared, not sitting behind a computer. He could only be controlling them if he's got a DNI, too. That's using your new... Here, smart one, new blood. I'll give you that. Use that billboard to get over the maglev train. Son of a bitch is still moving. He's heading into old Zurich. Move. Is it those? Okay. He's heading into Old Zurich. Move. Damn. Drones. Take them down. I'm working on it. Don't slow down. Slide down the roof. Don't lose him now, newbie. Don't take him out, newbie. We need him alive. Grab him, new blood. Now's your chance. Take him down. Just me landing on top of him would have killed him. Get going through the window. Didn't somebody land? Didn't work out so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. Use the force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a but coming up somewhere. Mm -hmm. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Dead. Yes, you said that. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. Whoa. That was cool. Why am I just getting flashy pictures? That doesn't tell me anything except that the flashy pictures. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? That the G that the I know DNA where they are. A terrible GPS. They're using They're the terrible. old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. Right. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Then it's lunchtime with the bitch. Outcome. Norma. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have Rip to. Tony Stark. Uh, I loved him three. I think it's time we moved on. ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. Uh-huh. For their sake, they really wish they hadn't. <laughs> You're still here, huh? We hadn't either. Pity. I don't want to be doing this anymore. I bet D has a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, specialist Peter Moretti. He's gonna help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. Remember, yeah. 
We still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over, you owe me a hundred. Right. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage. Nice work. are more accurate than like They're using smoke grenades. Switching to your EV helps whenever you're locked, whether in the dark or in smoke. We'll make a soldier out of you yet. You 
got this. Grab one of them. How you get shit done? Good hunting. Interface with that door for me. What is this place? This. This is where it all went down. The computer over there should give us some insight into how they got the explosives on board. Gotta go to the train next. And that would be stopping the bomb from exploding. There's robots on board. There's bombs on board. There's robots guarding the bombs. You know, the usual. It's the robots. The they hacked the security robots. They brought the explosives on board. Uh -huh. He's a bit <laughs> You wanna hear something ironic? The reality was, the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. And if it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, we probably wouldn't even have the Cyber Soldier Program. Hang in there. 725. Got about five minutes. Great. You've been here before, New Blood. Let's see if you can change history. All robots should be considered hostile. Trust me. I'll consider you as much. Watch your flank. They're coming through the windows. If this shit was real, you'd be killing civs left and right. Uh, I didn't get close enough. Plus, they dodged the. These guys are. Poor new blood. Let's see if you can change history. All robots should be considered hostile. Trust me. Watch the sieves, you're getting a little careless with your fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch your flank, they're coming through the windows.
just absorb damage. It's like... thing's booby trapped if I hack it try to move it or detach the car it's gonna blow yep. it's too much even with the computer in my head there's not enough time it's actually very simple wait this is a maglev track if I reverse the polarity on just this car As good as can be expected. I expect better. You should know that. Welcome back. You're being prepped for surgery now. It's gonna be okay. Very important. Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission. He volunteered for this. Holding up his thumb like a jerk. He's like, yeah. Look at me go. I'm doing this because I want to. You have no choice. The increasing prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. As I said before, we have no further comment to make at this time. We will continue to explore avenues of diplomatic negotiations. The WA have denied sending troops to the region, stating that they are still seeking a diplomatic solution to the standoff. We are coordinating closely with our allies in order to provide tactical support where needed. How long have we been doing this, Hendrix? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. You ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow. That was it. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. That was mission two, New World. Next we'll be tackling the third mission. Don't know what it's called, but we'll figure it out eventually. Uh, until then, I wanna thank you guys all again for watching. Consider hitting that like button and uh, if you're feeling like it and you're planning on hitting the next video button, I see you looking over there to the right of the screen. Consider hitting the subscribe button on your way over. It do a lot to help me out, and uh, until that time, I hope you all have a great day. This is Ferno, signing off. <laughs>